had a tender, so we participated in a tender last year in spring or summer. And, um, and uh, there the situation is that the president of Kazakhstan, he announced 100 concrete steps in May 2015. 100 concrete steps to build the nation and to become one of the 30th most developed countries in the world by 2050. And one uh, step or one pillar uh, therein was this uh, Astana International Financial Center to build a financial center, uh, a financial hub uh, for, the, for the region, but also on the gateway between uh, East and West, uh, China and Europe. Uh, so a regional financial center to attract uh, financial resources. And part of this is uh, to develop a resident uh, by investment program. And so they had a tender, they, um, we participate, uh, participated in this tender, we hang it in our bit and um, uh, won uh, this uh, bit then, uh, in summer and started to write on, uh, uh, on our concept uh, paper and now just a few uh, weeks ago um, uh, we uh, uh, hang it this paper in and made a presentation in front of the government. Uh, two other companies, they also hang it in a bit, uh, but I don't know who these companies were and uh, and we did it ourselves, as we usually do. So we uh, handling partners, uh, government advisory, hang it in our bit. Yeah. What we did is we, we analyzed uh, the, the local legislation, the, the tax situation, and of course uh, uh, other you know other successful resident program. And uh, it, it's a unique uh, uh, program, such a resident by investment program. It's comparable to Dubai a bit. Uh, you know, uh, th th they also have these uh, free zones there. And um, uh, so what we um, suggested uh, to Kazakhstan is that they, on the one hand, the applicants who want to uh, get such a, a resident permit, uh, they have to make an investment into this Astana Financial Center. And they have three possibilities. Either they invest in the fund, that is listed at the Astana Stock Exchange, or they buy the second option is buy securities uh, of the Astana Stock Exchange, or the third option is buy real estate within the borders of these Astana International Financial Centers. And so they can choose or they can make a combination of these three and uh, either do one of the three or a combination, and then they would get not only a resident permit but a, a permanent residency. Of, um, uh, of Kazakhstan. Right away? Uh, right away from the beginning, a permanent residency with all the rights, uh, so also uh, uh, health insurance, uh, uh, ins other you know, social security, etc., uh, retirement uh, possibilities. And, uh, and uh, next to this, uh, what would be very interesting is the tax situation. So they, they have um, uh, these applicants they um, would be um, taxed only on the local income and the local income within this Asana financial center would be uh, zero, so no taxes as uh, comparable to, to Dubai and uh, no global taxation. So you can take residence in Kazakhstan uh, as an entrepreneur, you can uh, build a company in this Astana financial center, you can relocate there with your family, you would get a permanent residency uh, a tax certificate, of course, and uh, don't have to pay taxes. So it's it's really very interesting. And uh, you know, when we worked with this uh, Asana Financial Center with the teams there, that are working on a very high level, they are very professional, uh, all international, uh, internationally educated, and uh, yeah, we think that it uh, could be a very interesting uh, program uh, for the region. Yeah. So what we advised is is how you have to change the local law and, uh, and the tax uh, um, code uh, of Kazakhstan and also of the Astana Financial Center uh, to, to, um, uh, uh, to integrate uh, these new resident uh, programs. Now the Astana Financial Center, so the authority of the Astana Financial Center, they discuss this proposal now with the ministries in, of, of Kazakhstan. So it's not that it's clear that they will introduce this. Uh, it is a, a first stage. So we did this paper, uh, we presented it, um, and uh, now the Astana Financial Center 
internally they discuss it with the with the government uh, of Kazakhstan and discuss whether they want to introduce it, whether they want to introduce it with changes, and when they want to introduce it. So it's not that this program will come. It's a it's a kind of a of a pilot, the first pilot uh, project, how this could look like. So it will become, uh, you know, it will become clearly a financial hub, this is Asana Financial Center, because it's, you know, they have the right people, they uh, hired dozens or hundreds of uh, project managers and uh, do it in a large scale, very professionally, and uh, started now. So it will be, uh, it will become a local uh, financial hub and attract, of course, uh, financial resources and also skilled uh, workers, uh, skilled people. And so it is. It will clearly be a regional program. So we think uh, for the region, entrepreneurs in the region in Central Asia uh, think, you know, why shouldn't we uh, have our holding companies, for example, there in Kazakhstan? Why shouldn't we live in Kazakhstan when uh, the, the tax situation uh, is so interesting and when we can live close to this financial center? And then also uh, for the for the Chinese, especially on the on the. Uh, west uh, of China, that there's, uh, there's a very wealthy region there, as you know, you're a specialist. And so for, for these uh, uh, Chinese entrepreneurs that do international trade, it could be, of course, also very interested. And then for, the, for Turkey, entrepreneurs from Turkey, we see an interest, uh, Iran, and of course, Russia as well. In Dubai, you know, when you remember I don't know how many, 20 years ago, when, when uh, everything started, you know, it, uh, nobody believed that uh, this could ever happen. Uh, but, you know, there are leaders, uh, the government uh, who believes in it, and uh, they have the financial means, of course, in Kazakhstan as well. Uh, and so it really looks uh, very promising.